Have you ever wondered how apps like Simply Draw are making over 4 million dollars per month whilst you are still stuck trying to learn how to code? Well, I just built this exact same app without writing a single line of code. And I use just one AI tool where you can literally prompt your idea and it will build out the entire app for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you my complete step-by-step -step process of how I recreated this 4 million dollars per month app using AI and the exact prompts that I used and how you can build and launch a professional Apple styled app within just a few days. There's four simple steps, planning the app, designing the app, adding the core features to the app and then deploying it live. And in the end I'm throwing in a bonus step that shows you how you can start earning money from day one. Now here's how I found the app idea. So I was just researching on Sensor Tower with these filters right here, country UK and category education. So I was just looking in the top grossing field and then I saw Simply Piano at third place and Simply guitar at 22nd place but then I saw top 25 which was simply draw so I clicked on it and then I saw that they make four million dollars last month with 900,000 downloads and all their app is is just simply teaching how to draw so then I jumped over to Claude to figure out what features this app actually has so in Claude I just prompted this I want to rebuild this app and then I added the link from Simply Draw's website. What features does it have? And then Claude is listing out all of the features that we need to recreate this app. So freehanded drawing, color picker, brush size adjustment, eraser tool, and etc. Okay, so now let's just copy all of the features and the context of the app, and then let's head over to braindumper.ai. This is a completely free tool that I built to help you turn your app idea into a prompt that is optimized for AI app builders like Base44 and everyone gets five free credits a month. Now just paste in a context from Claude in here and you can go over this to make sure it looks good and then just hit next. And in here you need to choose what AI app builder you want to be using. And as you can see here, I'm hosting a $3,000 cash price hackathon together with Base44, January 15th, to February 15th, 2026. Here you will have 30 days to build, ship and market your app to finally build your first successful app making real money. So if you want to participate in this $3,000 cash price hackathon, choose Space44 as the AI app builder on this step. Perfect, so now the app idea is brain dumped and we have generated the initial prompt. Now just click on copy and open Base44 and then just paste in the prompt and hit build now. Now Base44 will take the entire app idea context that we have copied from brain dump and build out the entire app for us using AI. All this just by typing in plain English. And as we can see in the left sidebar here, it's planning out the entire app. So it's planning to build out all of the features, how the UI should look like, planning out the components and everything that a developer would have spent days on planning. By the way, if you go back to Brain Dumper and click on Share Brain Dumper in the bottom left corner, you will be able to earn 10 free credits for each friend that you refer. And the friend that you invite will earn 10 free credits too. I've also written out this entire tutorial as a step-by-step -step guide on my blog with every prompt that I use in the video added. And if you need help or want any feedback whilst building your app, just join our free Discord community where you can network with other builders just like you. Links for all of this is in the description. Now the app is done building in Base44, so let's see what it has done. Sketchline is now ready, a clean drawing app with pen, eraser, shape tools, color picker, brush size control, undo redo, clear cam canvas and download feature. Wow, okay, that's insane. If it built all of this in just one prompt, then it's actually crazy. I select the pen tool and nice, it works drawing. Okay, this is actually sick. Let me try to redo. Okay, switch the color to purple and nice, it works as well. The pink color also works. Um, let's test out the circle shaped tool. Nice, the square tool works as well. And let's try to edit the brush size. Nice, okay, this is actually insane. I'll continue by prompting, okay, nice. Now the drawing logic works well, but it does not look like an app yet. We need to add a home page to clearly showcase what this app is and does. Then add a button that redirects to the drawing page, which is the app itself. Now let's just wait for this to get built. Okay, sick. so it made the home page with a call to action to start drawing. Then if we scroll down, they have added a screenshot placeholder section and a section that explains all of the features that are included in the app. Okay, this is perfect. And now if I click the start drawing now button, it takes me to the drawing board and the home button redirects me back to the home page. Perfect. I don't really love how the UI looks, so I'll head over to creo.ai. I like their homepage, so I will just take a few screenshots of their homepage and then I will go back to base44 and 
paste them in here. Let's take inspiration from these images to generate a professional, modern and premium looking homepage and SaaS in general. And I'll just hit enter and let's wait for the AI to do its thing again. About two minutes later, this is how the homepage looks. Nice, okay, so the hero section looks very good, but the rest of the page could use some improvement. Now let me see if the button is still working and yeah, I can still draw here, nice. Okay, so now let's prompt one in this section and I will just copy the text here. Let's paste in a screenshot of the editing tool that we just made. I'll scroll down and take a screenshot of this section and then add the image as an attachment and type 2. The section in the uploaded image is not as professional and premium looking as the images I attached previously. We need to make sure that the home page is concise and premium. The components are looking too AI made, especially with the icons. Also V and then I will just copy this text and paste it in. Uh, section is not centered, make sure it is. And finally, I'll take a screenshot of the button and add it to the chat as well and then I will type 3. As you can see in the second image uploaded, the buttons have these lightning icons. Remove this from all the call to action buttons and make the call to action shorter like try sketch light. Okay so now it's done, let's see if the changes have been made. Immediately I can see that the screenshot on the homepage is not correct. The AI must have thought to use the image I uploaded in the chat as the screenshot. So I will just draw something random here and then take a screenshot of the page and then I will add this in the chat and type use this as the screenshot on the homepage. And then a few seconds later the screenshot is added. Perfect. Now when I click on features and demos in the navbar there's no smooth animation like how the professional websites have. So I will just prompt make sure when you click features or demo in the navbar that it scrolls down with an animation to the section. Okay now let's try to click on the tabs in the navbar and amazing now it has this smooth animation which is exactly what I wanted. Let me also check if the download logic works. I'll just draw something random and click on the download button. Okay it's downloaded now let's open it to see if the drawing itself is downloaded too and perfect it works. I don't really know what features that we are missing in the SAS so I will just type what are we missing now to create a real SAS. So now base44 will help us think about what is remaining to add for our app to become a real SAS. Okay so all of these are good ideas. I will just mention yes we need to implement all of this. So start at the beginning and I will come back when it's done building. Okay so exactly one minute and 30 seconds later it's done and that was actually very fast. So now it has added the functionality to save drawings and a gallery page where you can view edit, download and delete saved drawings. So if I now go over to the gallery page and create a new drawing, then let's save it and go back to gallery. Here I can now download it. Let's see if the edit feature works as well. I'll add some lines, save it again and then go back to the gallery and nice, editing works. I'll just prompt nice. Now let's continue with the other features. Okay, so now it has created the pricing page, about page, contact page and added the tabs in the navigation. So now let's open the contact page. Okay, nice, this looks good. The about page, great, this shows what the app stands for. And then of course the pricing page, nice, this is perfect as well. So now let's prompt, okay, we probably need to set up authentication and make sure the database is set up. And what's so great about Base44 is that it already has the authentication and the database set up from the start. So I'm interested in seeing how it will respond here. Nice, okay, so exactly as I just mentioned, authentication is already built into Base44, but it did update the gallery and the draw pages to only show each user's own drawings to keep them secure, which is good. Now, if you click on the dashboard button in the top left corner within the preview, you will see a complete overview of your entire app. Here you can see your users, your data, analytics, domains, integrations, security, and the code of the app itself, agents, scheduled tasks, and such. This is basically everything you need to build out a professional SaaS. So if we now head over to users, here we can see ourselves as the owner. So this means that we are already authenticated within the preview app. So now I'll just prompt this. Okay, what's remaining to do now? When you're building with AI and you get stuck, don't be afraid to just chat with the AI for any questions that you might have. It's very good at helping you figure out the next steps. Usually AI will have pretty good ideas on what to do next, so always just remember to use it as a tool to build 10 times faster. Okay, let's see. It wants us to build out sharing functionality, a template library, autosave, onboarding tutorial, different export formats, and version history. I'll just focus on the most important ones. Let's implement one, two, three, four, 
6 and 9. And number 9 is the user profile page. So now it has implemented all the 6 features in one go. Sharing drawings with public links, templates library, autosave every 30 seconds, onboarding tutorial for first time users, version history to restore previous saves, and a profile page. Amazing. Now let's quickly check it out. Okay, when I open the drawing page, I now get this onboarding. Nice. Welcome to Sketchlight. Choose your tool. You can pick your color, adjust the brush size, and save your work. Now I immediately see this share button, but it does not work until you have saved a drawing first. So let me just draw something, then I will hit save, I'll call it just drawing 2, and then hit save. And now if I click share again, it works. And here I can copy this link to share the drawing with others. Perfect. Now let's see the template library. I'll head over to gallery, then open the templates. Okay, so we don't have any templates yet, so let's create one. I'll just draw something again, and then hit save, and then open the gallery page again, and amazing. Now let's try to remove a drawing to make sure it works too. Perfect. Okay, now let's see if the version history is working. I'll open a drawing again and then I'll click on the versions. Here we can see all the versions that we have saved of this specific drawing. So right now there's only one. So we need to add some more changes to the drawing. So let me just add a line here and change the color to red, then add another line here. Now let's save it. And now when we open the drawing again, open version history and amazing. Now we can see the two different saved versions of the drawing and we can even revert back and forth between these two pretty easily. Now let's try to log out, and okay, it seems like it just got stuck loading when I tried to log out, so let's prompt this. Make sure that the login and log out logic works, and that the users needs to create their account works properly too. And hopefully this will fix the issue. Okay, so now it has added authentication checks to all of the protected pages. This is the pages that are hidden behind an auth. These are the pages that you need to be logged in to access. So users will now be redirected to the login or the sign up pages when needed and the log out button should work properly now too. Let's see how this is looking in an actual Google tab, not just in the preview. Click the share icon in the top right corner, then copy the URL, open a new tab and let's paste this in. Now to see our app, we need to publish it live first. And this is very easy, so head back to base 44 and in the top right corner, click publish. Then in this model, click publish again. Now it will publish your app live and open it in a new tab for you. Perfect, okay, so this looks correct. We land directly on the sign up page. Now I'll just click on continue with Google and this should be working from start since Space44 handles this entirely for us without us needing to set up a backend and all of that. And just like that, we are now authenticated to the app as a user. Okay, but I see an issue in the top right corner. Even if we are logged in, it still says sign in. So let's take a screenshot of this page, then head back to Base44 and let's type this. As you can see, see in the image we have the sign in button in the top right corner even if we are already signed in this should rather be a simple logic like if user is not logged in show get started and log in if user is logged in show dashboard or something like that because now it's done so now i will click on the publish button in the top right corner and publish the app once again and nice now we can see that it shows dashboard instead of sign in Perfect. But I do not like the UI of the dashboard itself right now, so I will just take a screenshot of the current dashboard, and then I will paste this back into base44, and then I'll head back over to brainnumper.ai because I want to replicate this left sidebar dashboard layout in our app. So I'll just take a screenshot of this page as well, then copy and paste this into base44 too, and then I'll prompt I don't like how our dashboard looks right now. Let's make it similar to the brainnumper page dashboard sidebar logic is structured. And now Base44 will copy the same dashboard structure from Brainumper into our app. So let's just wait and see how this will look like. Okay, so a minute later it's done, but it has an error, so just simply click resolve with AI and it will automatically fix the error for you. And now it's done and nice, it has implemented the left sidebar UI, but it made the entire dashboard dark mode, and all of the pages do not follow the dashboard structure as we can see when we navigate throughout the pages. So now I'll just prompt nice now make sure the dashboard is white theme like all other pages and make sure all the tabs in the dashboard are connected perfectly with the dashboard homepage so all the pages that are correlated to the dashboard homepage should have a back button to this page with the same structure as the dashboard homepage perfect so now the dashboard keeps the white color theme and the dashboard uses the left sidebar consistently for 
for all the pages. Nice, this looks good. So now let's publish this one more time and test out the new flow. So I will just scroll down on the home page and click try sketch light. Then just go through the onboarding process and drawing works. Now I will save it as drawing three. Then I'll navigate to the gallery. Nice, all the drawings are shown here. Perfect. Now I'll try to delete the drawing. Nice, that works as well. Let's navigate to the templates page and this looks fine too. Amazing. Now let's go over to the bonus step that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, implementing monetization in the app so that we can actually get paid right from start. Let's prompt, now finally, let's implement Stripe for payments. So now Base44 will ask you to approve the Stripe integration installation. So just click on install Stripe right here. And now it's setting up the complicated Stripe integration for you. All right, now it should be implemented. So let's test it out and publish the app again in the top right corner. Then head to the pricing page and let's choose to upgrade to the pro tier. Okay, interesting. Now we are redirected to a Stripe payment page for the product pro plan. But this is just in a sandbox testing environment right now though. So this means that all of the purchases right now are just for testing purposes. So let's choose card and type in a fake card like this 0426 and 424. Then just type your name and then hit subscribe. And this is just a test payment, so nothing will be charged. And just like that, the payment was successful. Amazing. And after the payment is done, we're even redirected back to the app inside of the dashboard. Perfect. Now to turn the Stripe payments from test mode to live mode, head back to base44 and open dashboard integrations. Here you'll see my integrations and Stripe ready to be set up. And this is pretty easy, you just need to follow these simple steps. Try a test payment, which we just did. Connect your Stripe account, so just click the button, log in, and then connect it to Base44. And then finally copy your publishable and secret key in here, and then hit save API keys. Now your app is fully built out with a database, authentication, all the logic set up, and even payment so that you can start earning money right away. Just a few years ago, building an app like this would have cost you tens of thousands of dollars and months of development time. The barrier to building apps isn't technical anymore, it's just technical taking the first steps. So if you have been sitting on an app idea waiting for the perfect time, then you should definitely join the $3,000 hackathon that I'm hosting via the link in the description. Thank you for watching and as always, happy building.